Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Oxygen Not Included. Now, some of you guys were complaining that since I never ran this game in full screen that it just wasn't quite immersive enough. So I decided to take it up a notch and, well, run it in full screen plus VR. Look at this interesting world we're existing in over here. We're floating above some sort of canyon with with waves and stuff all down there. I don't know, it's pretty cool, this is big screen. I've been rocking my new Oculus Rift here for, oh, uh, the last five days or so. So I got my keyboard, I got this thing over here, and I'm going to see how this all, you know, <laughs> works. And I also just wanna play a little bit of Oxygen Not Included uh, from a vanilla stand, um, just running with the new update, just to kind of see how the whole sickness thing works. So I don't know if this will make a good video or not, because obviously to me it makes a lot of sense, but to you guys it's going to be moving all over the place. So we'll just have to see. And you guys will have to let me know down there in the comment section below, although by the time I edit the video and get out of it, I'll, I'll probably understand what I'm getting myself into. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start a new game. I'm just going to run standard, not any sort of custom thing, no point in trying to do anything that's easier than it should be. How about VR Barf Town? That seems like a good one. You know, and if things get sick or horrible, we can actually kind of move to a different space here. So if we're infected, we can go over to Pegasus and then suddenly everything here will just be like, we're surrounded by poo gas and, you know, nebulous or whatever. Maybe this is actually a better setup considering the background here. This is actually starting to make sense. Ooh, what's this one? Okay, well clearly this is the right option. <laughs> well, this is pretty cool. To me, it looks really big. To you guys, it's just gonna be whatever is on your screen, but. <laughs> All right, so how do I scroll around? Okay, so I can zoom in and out. Uh-oh. Okay, so then I gotta just kind of drag it like that. Well, this should be, this should work. I'm getting 130 frames per second, so let's start it off. Let's dig it up. All right. So I want to make sure I get some algae here. We got to also keep in keep in mind that there's going to be a lot of sickness and stuff like that. So if I go down here and I look at some of my different systems, what do I have? Ladders, tiles, all of this is the same. Plumbing. We do have a liquid bottler and the bottle emptier, so those are new. Medicine, we have a wash basin. So, I might end up using that a little bit more. Furniture. It's always good to have a couple of cots. We'll throw one in right there. We also want to make sure that I have a place to go to the bathroom. The thing is you want to have, you want to make sure you have a wash basin because there's going to be germs that build up on, on that outhouse. So let's just get a better idea of what we have going on here. I've got some water down here. So I gotta take care of that. And then I got a ton of copper up here so I can build a lot of stuff. Lots of sand too. So that's good. So let's make sure we dig on over this way. Oh no, what's going on? You're being attacked. <laughs> let's make sure nobody does combat here. I don't want to kill that hatch if I don't need to. This is pretty wild, guys. <laughs> and you know what? The resolution really isn't that bad. Like, there was con some concern about that, but... I don't know. This has been pretty dope. My whole experience with the VR stuff has been pretty dope thus far. Alright, so let's make sure I get some tiles built up here so I can get some storage compactors and... All of that good stuff going on. I don't really have a plan for this. I just kind of want to, you know, explore the different opportunities and see what's going on here. How do I deselect things? There we go. So do I have any of them? What are, What is their traits here? Destructive. Ooh. Mima. Mima is... A vomiter and a loud sleeper. Crap. Cancel. So we'll assign this to Abe, and we'll assign this to Meep, so we don't have to worry about that. And for now, just everything will go in there. Let's take a look at the germs overlay real quick. 
Oh, not too bad. I'm not able to really use my shortcuts here, so... I mean, that's one thing I'm not able to do. I don't know if this liquid bottler will actually do what I think it will, but... Let's drop it right there, see what happens. What do I have down below? Water, a little light bug, some other stuff. I'm going to build a bathroom down here with a wash basin on either side. Actually, I don't think I have that time. So I tell you what, we'll put it right here. And we'll give this stuff a little bit higher priority. This is cool. <laughs> this is it. I'm in the asteroid, guys. All right. So what, this thing cannot make it down to the liquid? I haven't worked with a lot of these new buildings yet, so that's something to figure out at some point here. We'll need an algae deoxidizer here fairly soon, and some power to take care of that. So I'll we'll also need some of this copper. All right, so there we go. Now this can actually get filled up. So we're seeing me work on it. <laughs> and he's now puts them into the wash basin. All right, so now it should be clean each time to go through. Let's take a look at the germs, see if I have any germs floating around. Obviously this, there's zero surface germs, so I don't have to worry about that. So as far as the first day has gone here, I think it's gone pretty good. Although I will need to get some power and oxygen in here because I will be reducing the amount of oxygen I have fairly soon. Although I still have this oxalite up here, which isn't really used as much as I thought it would be. I, I, I would think we'd see some more of that. It'd be nice if you could use this to make something in the future. All right, so Abe, are you washing your hands every time you go through here? Yes. Okay, good. All right, welcome back. There's been some progress. So let me give you an idea of what just happened. Uh, so I was playing this game. I stopped recording for a moment just to kind of make sure things were working out right. Came back, recorded for about another half hour or so. But in that meantime, a thunderstorm outside over there uh, from that direction <laughs> uh, snuck up on me actually pretty quick. There's only about four strikes of lightning, but one of those strikes of lightning knocked out the power. They were all very, very close by. So unfortunately, I didn't end up stopping the recording by the time it had knocked out the power, all the files went corrupt, and for some odd reason, it uninstalled the video game too. So it's, luckily I still have the saved files. I have all my saved files, so that's all good. But um, yeah, it was kind of a dramatic thing. I would like to have shared it with you, but trying to recover an MP4 file is worse than having your teeth sawed off, so I'm going to uh, not even attempt that. I've done it in the past and I've determined that it's, it's just not worth it. So let me show you what's gone on here in the last couple of cycles because there hasn't been a whole lot of action. I mean, we're still early game. But let me hit play and get her going. Okay, so one, there's now four duplicates here. So we've got Nicola, who's joined the group. And unfortunately, Meep at some point here has gotten sick. So I have a little bit of polluted water that's found its way down into my first watering hole. So if I go up here and I, I show you the disease, you can see that the germs are starting to spread through all of this nice liquid here. So that is really unfortunate. So that has forced me to come down here and to get water from this basin. Luckily, I have a lot of water down here, so that's not a bad thing. But yeah, a little bit of vomit up here totally ruined my day. So uh, I need to be able to protect this space a little bit more. So just so I can't accidentally throw up on it, I'm going to go ahead and have a little bit of a block here. So that way I can sweep through it in case somebody ends up getting sick or food poisoning. As far as the germs are concerned, they're pretty much still isolated to this area. I haven't had much of a problem with that. That is probably about the biggest development besides the obvious here. I have done some research though. I've started off 
with the very first thing being the interior decor so I can kind of get that decor up so people don't get depressed and all of that badness. The liquid piping is also another thing that I worked on, getting filtration and then sanitation is my next thing that I'm working on. I'm also gonna to try to keep this a little bit smaller for you guys because I think my view is a fair bit taller and kind of more squarish compared to what you guys are seeing. Um, so I wanna make sure that you guys can see it and even though for me, while everything looks smooth, I'm sure for you guys it's kind of a kind of a wild ride here. But the whole space theme here and being on an asteroid and then the space thing out here is just absolutely awesome. I think it's a really cool experience. So um, I like it. And I've, I've gotten used to using this sort of number as far as using the mouse and everything. But I don't really have a lot of these commands either memorized or whatnot. But I, I think this is pretty dope. <laughs> I enjoy this. It's a real trick and a real trip to record it, though. I'll give you that. And certain things like, you know, uh, just how blurry this image is or how unblurry that image is when I zoom in really far. You know, that's all something to get used to. The other thing is, like, whether or not the headset is tilting up or down is going to kind of depend on, on what's being recorded for you guys as well. So I have to be really mindful of what I'm doing so that I can capture the right image here. Again... This is more or less just something that I want to see. <laughs> yeah, I just want to play around with it, see if it works, see if it doesn't work. It's kind of a fun, different idea. And it's a, a little change to the typical playthrough of the game here, considering I'm not trying to do a challenge or anything different. Um, the other thing is I'm putting my food up here. So the idea is pretty much anywhere you're dealing with water, just about, there's going to be a wash basin uh, so that it protects that stuff. Now I should have a, probably have a wash basin over there. And the other thing is I should have some sort of water purification system at some point. Which I might have available now. I have a liquid filter. I do have water purification. And this says transfers a portion of disease to polluted dirt. So I need to make a couple of mush bars here so that I can get some food. And we'll see if any diseases find their way up into that mush bar system. See Nicola running up there making sure to get a little bit of dirt applied to it. Considering there's not a lot of disease in the stuff that I'm digging up yet, you know, there aren't like rogue germs, I should be fairly safe for the moment. Just want to make sure I'm not sucking up this water because that would be, that would be bad. I have to find a way to treat this water now. Ah, and the other thing I've, I've gotten rid of, which I need to put back in place is I need to get a battery down here because right now we're just running on this constantly. So that's consuming a duplicate's time. I would compare this sort of mode here, like total god mode, right? So I've got these hands and I can, I can punch the microphone in front of me. <laughs> Hello? Okay, we're back. Okay, I can punch the microphone, which happens to be right here, but I can kind of tell people what to do. Okay. <laughs> You know when I'm playing with people online the, on some of the more aggressive games, every once in a while you hear somebody just go, OW! And they're like, I just punched a wall. <laughs> I broke my finger. You really got to make sure you have your guardian system set up. So that's this thing right here. It kind of tells me where I'm at in the room. Which means I should really rotate this, I think, over here. I don't know exactly. Let me just peek. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so as far as pumping goes, I'm going to want to have a little liquid pump down here. Again, with some power hooked up to it. I'll go ahead and make a little bit of a platform there. And that's where I'll put some batteries, I guess. Seems like as, as good a spot as any. Just wanna make sure I sweep this stuff up. So I'm gonna put a nice high priority, make sure the mush bars and stuff get off the floor. Okay, so now Mima here, I guess, by running on this manual generator, I just noticed this. She's a little germy. Why are you germy? I'm gonna go ahead and try to plan for this and just kind of move that power station over so that I can have a little wash basin there. I'm not sure if it's just running on that wheel is, is causing her to become germy or not, you know, kind of sweaty or something like that. Okay, so for this bottle emptier, I can say what kind of stuff I want. So I will say polluted water. And that's what I want to be emptied there. But actually I'll say nothing for right now and try to sweep this up. Okay, so one of the other things I can do now is I can actually have a, 
a normal lavatory and a shower so then I can get rid of this outhouse and all of the trouble that that brings. So I think my strategy as far as my research is probably a pretty good one. Right? Oh crap, that's the mic again. All right, so we'll get rid of this one here. Da, da, da. Sanitation. Which one is it? There it is, a little wash bin right there. Okay, so I need a couple of batteries just to store some power. However, I think now's a good time to go ahead and research some better power. So I'll go ahead and get that going. And I'll also continue this over, just like so. But we'll also want to filter that water that's going to be pumped out of here. It should actually all be clean. I don't know if I have to run it through the filter or not. I should, though. I would like to be able to flip this stuff. You notice that? I mean, as far as what side has the inlet and what side has the outlet, it would be nice if we could be able to flip this. That would allow us a little bit more flexibility of what we can do there. All right, the decor around here is kind of poor, so let's go ahead and just... Make it a little bit better. Ah, so here's my first problem. I, I cannot rotate inside of here. <laughs> Whoa! All right, we're back. <clears throat> okay, so now I have a keyboard in front of me, so if I need to rotate, I can. And something besides this keyboard. Apparently work in whatever, you get the idea. It's not perfect. Okay, so. Where, where are we? We're trying to solve this problem of some germs that are floating around down here. So if I look at the germs, things are starting to get germy. You know, people here still got, they still got their immune system. So I guess we're okay. But I'm paranoid. I'm paranoid of germs. I don't like it. I mean, it's kind of, kind of me in real life, like in the wintertime. I wash my hands all the time. I don't like germs at all, so I try to avoid them as much as possible. So part of the discussion, which I don't know if I talked about beforehand or afterhand, I, I know I talked about it at some point, but <laughs> is whether or not this sort of germ system here really adds anything to the game. Some people like it, some people don't like it. It's kind of a popular thing, kind of not a popular thing. So that's what I'm trying to do here as far as like a, learning what's going on, and then trying to determine whether or not this is going to be a good thing. Um, so, I'll give you my opinions here by the end of the video, once I've kind of explored it a little bit more. And, uh, and now I'm starting to see, you know, these germs show up in places, and, and things are starting to happen here, and it's starting to kind of mess up my normal flow. So, is this an obstacle, or is it something that's going to be make the game a little bit more interesting? That's the real question, right? So one of the things is that we have enable auto disinfect. So that's something that's around. So that's cool. I don't know about this. Every time they come down here, they get they get germified, right? So that consumes water each and every time. Not a lot, but it is a thing. Might as well put that on continuous because I don't have any other food sources at the moment. One of the things that is really lacking in this base here, besides having a lot of, you know, I've got a ton of copper up here. I've got a ton of algae. The thing is, I don't have much in the way of plants. You can see I've got some meal lice down here. And then, like, one bristle. <laughs> I have, like, I have absolutely hardly anything as far as plants are concerned. I do have some stuff way down here. i got a pinch of pepper and this cool thing. So I can kind of plug my brain into that or whatever that does. But then I also got some dust cap over here, which should be useful in a space down here where I have carbon dioxide. So uh, plants are at a very premium at the moment. I just don't have a lot as far as plants go. I mean, I guess I do have a bristle blossom up here. Why is this? Body temperature isn't right. It needs light. So these could be a little bit better off. So I really need to get some farm stuff going. So that's what I was talking about. That's where I'm going with this. So that needs to be my next research right there. So I can get some stuff planted and really start to make some better food at some point here. I'm going to go ahead and move the cots up here. They just don't really need to be where they are. That'll allow me to put things like little wash basins and stuff and just kind of like 
you know, cross this whole area off. <laughs> and this down here is going to be my polluted water location. I'll probably make that a little bit bigger if possible. All right, so a lot of modifications going on here. I'm moving all these cots up here. I'm also going to put a bathroom and a wash station just to make sure all of that stays clean. It'll also be a place for, like, showers and stuff like that, so I can really kind of make sure everything's working out well there. See, now, this is confusing to me here, right? So, does this need to be cleaned or not cleaned? I don't know. I mean, it's not polluted water. It's just water. It's got a couple of germs in it. I don't know. I know one thing for sure, though. I'm going to want to make sure that the liquid that's coming out of here, which is going to be polluted, is purified, so... What I'm not sure is if the clean water runs that's running through here actually causes this to use up its filtration or not. So it seems like if the duplicates are not um, germed, they'll, they'll just skip right past the wash basin. So that's nice. So that means I could just do this number here. Pretty much surround anything that has germs in it, right? It's kind of the idea. Okay, so what I'm seeing up here is that Abe is at 100%, but you can see his name's kind of highlighted, and he is germy, so this duplicate is in need of a shower, hence the shower down there. So, while the shower before used to be just a stress thing, now it's a germ prevention thing, which makes sense, right? So that doesn't seem ridiculous at all. What I do need to do is disable some of these guys. I got a lot of oxygen that I'm making, but I don't necessarily need all of that. So one thing I really wish they would add into the game is a way to heat resources, right? Kind of a little furnace or something like that. Maybe it gives off a ton of heat or it's hard to manage. The reason being is that you can heat fertilizer into dirt and dirt into sand. And sand is a critical, is now, again, more critical than it was before. So sand is like one of these resources you're going to need, obviously, to easily filter your water to make everything clean not to mention to run uh your your little filters that purify that oxygen as well in the air so sand is really useful but it's hard to get more sand unless you're kind of using you know some strange methods that might be like digging down to lava or someplace where it's really hot or trying to create steam that gives off dirt that it, it then manipulates that kind of an almost a uh, a manipulation of the system in order to get more sand so right now the main method would be to dig and dig and dig until you find resources of sand i guess and maybe maybe they balance things by adding more sand there seems to be a lot here so but then again <laughs> my perspective on the game ah crap is a little bit different <laughs> i gotta keep it close the other thing is I like the new music that they have now. It kind of is, you know, they talked about how it's a little bit adaptive depending on what you're looking at and how fast the game is going. I like it. I think it's a good change of pace. Okay, I got enough food for a little while. It's not like I can preserve it for a long time either, so. Meep, why'd you fall asleep there? Terrible spot to fall asleep. Okay, so I got a little bit of, uh, oops, crap. My food is a little bit infected. Come on, disinfect that. That's the one thing I don't think I can... I'm not sure I can disinfect food. Once it's slightly infected. There we go. At least I can get my first farm up and running. That'll hopefully give us a little bit better, you know, food to eat. Rather than what we're currently working with. As far as the jobs, who's my artist? Is anybody getting better at art? Yeah, we got a couple of people that are getting a little bit better. So we'll just restrict it to those two. As people get better with jobs, you know, I think it's a good idea to kind of start to let certain people do jobs compared to other people, right? Although it doesn't hurt to have a bunch of well-rounded duplicates. So maybe I'll just keep them that way. So this liquid pipe is containing germs that is being piped into here, but the germs are not on the way out. See, now that, that I just don't understand what's going on there. Like, how did, how did this become germy in the first place? If, it, if anything, it should have been purified. So there we go. After it comes out of the purifier, we're then going to take it and bring it all the way down to this basin. So, we'll slowly be draining this one out. That's the idea. 
Well, here we go. Let's see if I can find that key. <laughs> We're out of food again! Alright, I'll go till about 30 cycles or so. That's a pretty long time to play. And we'll see what happens here. Oh, I can finally make some mess tables. This would be the last place I want to put it, right next to this. Matter of fact, a good idea is to do this number just in case somebody throws up while they're on this. <laughs> but hopefully it doesn't come to that. Although, people, their immunity is starting to drop a little bit there. See, it's 98%. Ah, uh, who made a mess and why? Ah, uh, two people made a mess. What? Dude, no. Look at the germs now. They got to be all over the place. No, oh, guess not yet. And who's making a mess now? No, don't you dare. Thought I heard it. Oh my gosh. These duplicates, I tell you what. I'm going to throw you out in space. You're gonna take Meep, and I'm just gonna be like, bye. Oh, speaking of which, since we're now being covered in, you know, germs and poop and everything. Oop, it's not, it's not what I wanted. We gotta go to something that's a little bit more stinky. We're, we're, we're going to Pegasus here. Yeah, see, we got poop around us. Blah, people vomiting and stuff. All right. You like the interaction. I like it. This is cool, though. All right. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. What the? What the heck? Is it? Is the liquid just backed up? That's what's going on. Because they haven't made this piece. Hey, make it. Make it now. These duplicates. I tell you what. Just make the piece. There we go. So now they've done it. Hopefully the liquids will start to move. Okay, so even with all the vomiting going on here, what are the germs looking like now? They're still not terrible. You know, wash basins are really taking care of them. So it's not like I'm I'm in, you know, I'm in too deep at the moment. It seems to be working out just fine. People should really put this in the ration box, though. There we go. So now, now we can start getting this thing running a little bit more. And what it contains all Oh no. Oh no, what? It's a water purifier, isn't that its name? You gotta be kidding me. How the heck does the water purifier not purify the water of germs? Well what good does transfers a portion of disease to the polluted dirt? Like what good does that do us? I mean, <laughs> what the heck, guys? Now, that seems broken to me. Like, why, why, what's the point of this if it doesn't kill the germs that are coming out of it? So now I've managed to poison both of my watering holes, even though it's clean water coming out. <sighs> I can see why people find this update frustrating. Like, that right there just kind of, that's driving me nuts. So if I can't use a lavatory and a water purifier, there's like no point in having both of these. I might as well just go back to using an outhouse because at least I can control that. I mean, this isn't doing me any good at all. Look at this. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, so let me run a couple of water purifiers just to see what happens here. I'm not terribly interested in taking this series out for a long time, so. What if I run it through two water purifiers? Does that get rid of all the uh, germs inside of there? <laughs> I keep purifying this exact same tile. Like, uh, what is going on with that? It's just always a little germy because of whatever's next to it. I don't get it. They just keep coming up here and they'll, they'll... Watch, they'll do it again. Like... That doesn't make much sense. Mm, I think it's time for another change here. Let's go to red shift, huh? Ooh, that's pretty good looking. Or what about the void? Okay, now that is just weird. I don't want that one. That is not my cup of tea. Ooh, a campfire. This is apparently... Ooh, it's gonna use a little bit more stuff. Hey. Well, this is cool, at least for me. 
Probably does not look anywhere near as impressive for you guys, though. But this is... This motion is... is fun. Is this one up and running now? Let's see. Liquid-wise... Liquid, liquid, liquid. There we go. Okay, let's pause this real quick and see how many germs are in this pipe. There are no surface germs, but what about here? So it seems like... It seems like now that I, I run through two, the germs are not coming out. So that right there just seems to be a problem with the balance of the game, personally. Because a water purifier is removing some of the uh, germs. However, it should, in my opinion, re get rid of all of them. Because right now I'm, I'm having to use two, which doesn't make any sense to me. So there's my opinions on that. I like this. I like the motion. You know, the motion adds something to the environment for me here. The only thing is, you know, it's like, that's where the campfire is. So I almost feel like I should be over here with the campfire off to the side. Nevertheless, whoop, punch in the mic again. Sorry, I've been doing that to you guys this entire time. Okay, so running two water purifiers here. That makes me feel a little bit better that there is at least a way to get rid of all the germs there so I can keep this about as clinically clean as possible. I mean, there's a lot to it, but it seems to be working out all right. <laughs> now this over here, this tile, this drives me nuts. Look at this, 200,000 germs in here and it's just going to kind of move in and take over. Even though this is a solid wall, it's moving through solid walls. What horrible germs do that? Is there a certain tile I need that, that keeps that stuff out, or what? I mean, I know you can actually make physical tile in the game. You know, we can see it down here. Tile, right? Use floor as well to build rooms. You know, and, and you, can, you can heat up certain things like um, clay to get ceramics. I've tested that. You can actually do that. So... I don't know. Maybe that blocks germs, or maybe that will block germs. In my opinion, though, that this seems like a bug. I don't know why. It just seems like a little bug right there. A million germs! Holy cow. All right, I got a coal generator. Okay, so to grow some of these little dust caps here, what does it take? Uh, air pressure, yes. Atmosphere, yes. 3, 5 to 35 degrees for the temperature and then darkness. So here's a moment where I can take, not this guy, no, you get out of there, but I have carbon dioxide down here. And what I can do to make that work is I can just kind of build an area and then put a, uh, put a coal generator down there, somewhere in this space, right? So this coal generator will give off a lot of carbon dioxide, also a fair bit of heat. So then I can also put dust caps around that. At least that's the idea. We'll see if that works. I think I do have enough cycles or I can go on to enough cycles to make that work. All right, let's plant a fungal spore down there. That'll be good. The first time I've ever planted this and it should be in the right spot. I mean, as far as what it needs and what all is going to be down there. I'm not sure if it'll get too hot though. That's the one possible, you know, problem I can have with this spot. What? What are you doing down here, Hatch? Seems like a bad spot. There you go. That's a better spot. All right, let's try another environment here. Ooh, south balcony. Let's head on over there. All right, so here we are looking out over the world. This is actually my house. <clears throat> hey, look, I got two hatches down there. That's cool. Ah, 30,000 germs. They're duplicating down there. Is there any way to get some chlorine in there? Can I do that? Can I bottle up chlorine? Not unless I cool it. Ooh, I don't really have a way to cool it. I mean, I do have that new machine. If I unlock it. Over, I'm... It's liquid in and liquid out. I guess that just goes to show that we do need a hydrogen bubbler system or just a, a, a gas cooler system, I guess, really, to 
knock the temperature down of gases far enough to where you can really liquefy stuff. Because that way I think liquid chlorine inside of here... Well, I don't know if that would do anything. Yet another thing we need to experiment with. So everything but fertilizer seems to be, you know, what it takes for this dust cap. So this is actually a pretty good spot for it. Temperature-wise, not bad. And this thing gives off a little bit of temperature. I'm trying to keep this to where it won't turn on very much. I've got a lot of batteries. I'm going to let those batteries run down. So hopefully we don't use up too much coal. And in the meantime, seems like a good time to go ahead and research the rest of the stuff I need. Like this, so I can get away from using the algae deoxidizers. Means I can also refrigerate my food. So I can deconstruct that and put a refrigerator over here. Of course, then again, I could also put this refrigerator down here. And then it's kind of in this area, so it's inert. So that's actually a, a better spot for it. The only thing is it doesn't get clean every time you go through here. So I can fix that problem. I can deconstruct this. Maybe, eventually. Uh-oh. <laughs> Everybody got stuck. <laughs> So the spot from where I make the food to where the food is stored is actually quite a long ways away. No! What? How'd you... Come on, you little punk. Get out of here, shine bug. Go shine away. Come on. You just had to come in here and mess everything up, didn't you? I like you, but I'm about to, uh, about to attack you. <laughs> So I guess a better spot to do cooking and stuff would be right here. So I could do that. I could put my electric grill here and then the micro musher over there. There it is. And also add some stuff for decor like that. And also, wherever the hand sanitizer is again, that wash basin. You gotta always have one of those. Alright, open this door. Come on, guys. There we go. Now get out of here, shine bug. Come on. Come on. You. Go this way. Come on. Out. Out. No. Oh, come on now. Come on now. No. Go shine away. Shine away. Get your light away from me. Not only do the duplicates kill themselves, the shine bugs go straight for the dust caps. I tell you what. I can't I can't win. I can't win. No matter what. So it looks like the germs are going down, so that's good too. Oh my everybody's getting in on this. The germs in here. I guess in some places are going down, apparently. But the germs are going up. I don't understand. It should be clean. Yeah, so the germs are getting knocked down as the water is dripping into this area. I mean, they're not increasing. So it is, it, it just takes two. I'm not sure. Oh, the shine bug finally got out of there. Okay. Quick, go back to auto. So I'm thinking things here are relatively stabilized now. I mean, this is to a point where it seems like my immune system here is maintaining 100%. I've found ways to kind of clean everything and also maintain the cleanliness of of this initial environment, right? So not necessarily out here where we're getting into slime and what all that has to happen with all of that. But for the most part right now, everything's manageable. Like, I found ways to make it work. There are a couple things like... I'm not a big fan of how the water purifiers currently work. Uh, I feel like my base is slightly being taken over by wash basins, but I do like the idea of having to manage germs and diseases in some form or fashion. So I'm really not against the update, um, where some people just don't flat out like it. 
Is it a little bit more tedious? Yes, I think there is an, an, an extra dimension to this that is a little bit more tedious. But then again, you have to plan for it. And I don't think that's completely unreasonable. Um, some things do not communicate all that well as far as the liquid standpoint and, and whether things are going up or down and, and how that all communicates. I'm not 100% sure on that. And I really don't necessarily understand, like, at what point do, do I, like, realize that things are just going to become absolutely horrible and people are going to get sick. I mean, it isn't 100% clear there. So I'm not really against it, but I'm not sure that it's 100% there as far as like, what do I what do I need to do? So, I don't know. I'm so-so on the update. I'm so-so. I, I really like the liquid aquifier. I really think the main thing here though is that we have certain filtration mediums that we need, more or less that are kind of the lifeline of what we're we're dealing with as far as cleanliness and maintaining a clean environment. So we need to weigh a way to make more of that, which we currently do have methods to make more of it if we were to like superheat certain things, but we don't really have a machine to heat that stuff to make more sand. So I think that's one of the things that's currently really missing from the game, and I think that should be on their to-do list um, for the next update. So I'm not really against it, but there is some more stuff to it. I'm about 50-50 as far as the whole germ system is concerned. The Aqua Tuner, though, I really do like that. And I do like all of the debug tools that have been incorporated. I'd really like to see that then integrated here at some point to potentially the, the Steam Workshop and also being able to have maybe blueprints that you can place down. So if I were to, I were to say, like, this was a real good setup that I like and I want to, you know, make more of these, it'd be great to kind of have this, but have it built in such a way that it could, duplicates could then go and do it. So again, that's also a want, not necessarily a need, but there's certain things that um, I think would just continue to make the game better and more user-friendly and also really bring the community together as far as all is that concerned. Um, as far as playing this game inside of the Rift, I think this is a pretty cool setup. I'm a big fan of, you know, this sort of big screen program. I like the you know, when we go to the campfire here, this is this is pretty dope. And the fact that I could probably bring somebody in and place them over here and we can share this experience together, I think that's also really cool as well. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. Let me know what you think about it as far as, you know, this environment. It's probably really horrible for you guys, uh, but I don't really know exactly. You guys will have to let me know down there in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you guys found this video somewhat informative or helpful. Hey, check this out. We can do that. <laughs> And if you enjoyed the video in general, let me know what you think about this update as well. There's a fair bit of controversy over it, so we'll have to see how it all ends up. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have, again, enjoyed a little of this episode of Oxygen Not Included. If I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.